Hey, um, in this video we're going to look at sequences. Okay? Um, the first thing is I'm going to give, I suppose, a definition of what a sequence is. Um, a sequence would be, say, a sequence of numbers would be a list of numbers with a specific rule in order for you to get the next number. Right? Or a sequence of shapes would be a list of shapes with a specific rule to allow you to get the next shape. Okay, so for instance, let's look at this sequence here. Okay. So we have a list of numbers. We have 5, 8, 11. Now can we find, based on these numbers, what this number might be? Okay, so we're going to look for a general rule to get from this number to this number, and then from this to this. And by doing that, hopefully we'll find that same rule to get to the next number. So 5 to 8, and we jump up 3. 8 to 11, we also jump up 3. So it'll be safe to assume then that we jump 3 again. So that would be 14. And if we jump another 3, we get 17. Okay. Likewise, we could go to 20. So the rule here is we're increasing the number by 3 every time. Okay. In the next question then, it's not a list of numbers, it's, it's a list of shapes. So, can we get the next shape? Right. Well, in this one we notice that there's one, two, three boxes down the way. And then, I suppose, two boxes on the top and on the bottom. And then in this one there's four boxes down the way and three on the top and bottom. And in this one there's five boxes down the way and four on the top and four on the bottom. So with that in mind then, we're adding a box on the vertical column every time. So let's do that. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to add a box onto the top column. So we had four, so now we're going to have five. Two, three, four, five. Okay, and we can easily do the next one as well. Okay, now again, if you're doing it, you should do it neater than this. Two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then there should be one, two, three, four, five, six. So two, three, four, five, six. And two, three, four. Six. Again, if you were doing it now, it would be expected. You do it with a ruler and you do it neatly. Okay. Let's make a list of numbers out of this. Okay. So how many numbers are in the first one? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now, I'm not going to count the others. I'm just going to look at the rule here. 5, 2, 8 is 3. 3, and again, so it's the exact same as the one up above. Okay, so remember that very first sequence we did? Well, that's actually a pattern with that same sequence. Lastly then, let's look at this. So 4, 7, 10, 13. Um, just coincidence that it's we're jumping by 3 again. So 16, 19, 22. Okay. If you notice, these patterns, we're always jumping up by a number, okay? Jumping up by the same number. It doesn't always have to be like that. We could reduce it by a certain number. So we could reduce it by two every time. Okay? So the next one would be 12 and 10 and so on. We might necessarily do a redu um, reduce by the same number at all. There could be a pattern 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. Okay, now let's see if we can find a pattern here. Well, it jumps 3, it jumps 5, it jumps 7, it jumps 9. Well, there's no pattern. But hold on. This number, oh, sorry, this number here, the 5, is too bigger than the 3. And the 7 is too bigger than the 5. And the 9 is too bigger than the 7. So if I did this... Well, now I seem to have a pattern. Well, then the next jump here should be 11, because that would be 2. And therefore, then the next jump here 
would bring me to 36 because 25 plus 11 is 36. And again, the next jump will be 13. So therefore, 36 plus 13 is 39. Okay, so there's another type of pattern. We could have another pattern type pattern might be, um, let's say, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. Well, what's happening here? Well, it's, it's Dublin, isn't it? Okay, 4 to 8, and then 2 8s are 16, and then um, 2 16s are 32. We could have um, 4, 16, 64, 2, 5, 6. Now, where's the pattern there? Well, again, it mightn't be um, like straight away obvious, but look at this. 4 to the power of 1 is 4. 4 to the power of 2 is 16. 4 to the power of 3 is 64. 4 to the power of 4 is 256. Okay, so there's loads of different type patterns, and we will get to all these patterns later on in the videos. But I suppose for this video, all you need to know is that is a sequence, a list of numbers with a particular rule to get on to the next number. And we do need to kind of practice these type of questions where we have a certain shape and we need to draw the next shape based on that pattern. Okay, thanks, guys.